Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Tampa Bay Downs here on Wednesday. It's the 1st of April, 2020. I'm going to look at the featured 8th race from Tampa, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. April 1st, hopefully the uh, month gets better and uh, everything gets somewhat back to normal by the end of the month. Fingers crossed, but um, we still have a good card here from Tampa, so we're going to look at this 8th race, which uh, it wouldn't surprise me if you see horses end up in some of the major three-year-old stakes races at the end of the year from this um, eighth race from Tampa. They're going to end up in those races. Will they win? That's for another uh, day. But uh, the eighth race from Tampa, it's a Lamb's optional claim. Our purse $18,000. Race is for three-year-olds and upwards never won 15000 or excuse me, which never won a race on the including starter, which never won two races here, an optional claim price seventeen thousand or seventy five hundred, excuse me, or seventy five thousand. God, I can't speak today. But we have a field of ten horses entered in the night cap to go to the distance of ground of seventeen hundred meters or a mile and one sixteenth on the Tampa Bay turf course. Seventeen hundred meters, a mile one sixteenth turf course. And uh, Tampa Bay, I think, has one of the best uh, turf courses in uh, North America. Uh, you know, I think it's better than Gulf Streams because you could ho you could have horses win on the lead here, or you could have horses come from a little bit behind on this turf course. And my top selection, I think, is going to be coming from a little bit behind. That's going to be the six horse Our Country. I'm going to go six four two seven in the Super Facta six four two seven Super. Top selection six horse Our Country. Three year old Colt by Constitution. George Weaver trains Daniel Centeno. Leading rider gets the mount, or excuse me, uh, he's up there with the leading riders, not leading riders, but. He has been lead rider in the past few years, but um, Centennial is up. He, this horse is making his first start off the break. His most recent outing came the first November at Santa Anita Park, one mile in the Brewers Cup Juvenile Turf. You know, tougher horses. He finished ninth by two and a half lengths. He moved a little bit late, but it wasn't anything spectacular about that run. Stepping down in class, back to this turf course, I think he'll do a lot better. Before that, he ran here in New York at Belmont on the 28th of September, mile 16th in the Great Three Pilgrim. He finished third by one quarter lengths. He sat back early. He really closed up well. You know, I thought it was a good race. Keep in mind, the winner of Structor went next start out in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf, and then before that, the horse ran at the spot Saratoga, mile 16th on the inner and the grade three with anticipation stakes. He finished fourth by two and a half lengths. The winner just had his own way that day. This horse didn't break that well, wanted to go a little bit wide. It, it, nothing was to his liking they, there. I think he needed the race for experience. And then before that, Saratoga, mile 16th on the melon, main special weight 90,000. He won by five and three quarter lengths. He sat back early mid pack, a little bit wide, but when he quickened up, he quickened up nicely. That was a very, very good run. His debut at Saratoga on the inner turf course, he, going a mile 16th, he had a very troubled trip for basically the first, uh, it, it was a mile 16th, so basically the first six and a half furlongs was just horrible. Broke badly, got bumped in, checked a few times around the turns. It, it just wasn't his day to win, but I like him off the break. Lesser quality horses, you know, if he could sit mid-pack or, you know, that would be good, but he's going to be coming from a little bit behind. 2-1, to one, we'll use him here on the multi-race. The four-horse Alley Oop Johnny, I think you have to use. If there's going to be a speed horse that can win and sh you set some slow fraction on the front end, I think it'd be him. A 5-1 to one here, he's in for the price, though. You know, he, he ran a decent fourth in the Columbia Stakes a few weeks ago here at Tampa, and he won before that, it, breaking his main on this turf course very nicely. He he has some speed here. He's been training well. Like I said, if there's going to speed, if there's going to be a speed horse that can win here, I think it could be him. Definitely use him in the uh, end to end off the exotic wagers, the uh, multi race wagers. Excuse me. But to recap my selection now for the eighth from Tampa, let's take the six horse Our Country as a top selection. We'll go six four two seven in the Superfecta, six four in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck.